Hey BBs, it's Plastic and today I'm back with you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? Today, <laughs> today's the day because I have got my hands somehow on the Barbie movie Western Doll and I recently saw the Barbie movie like a night ago or a couple days ago and genuinely that movie is so beyond amazing and after seeing the movie or actually before seeing the movie I wanted the Western Barbie doll because like this is my favorite Barbie doll from like the deluxe set of everything and she's probably my favorite Barbie movie doll ever and it's one of my favorite Barbie doll outfits in a long time I feel like we haven't seen Barbie in a hot pink ensemble like this in a long 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 time so I'm just super excited to have her in this super glamorous doll and um i wanted her for really really badly um like last week and she was sold out and it was this whole thing of trying to get her and i finally got her at target today if y'all are searching for this barbie doll she is like 50 dollars at target and i think she's exclusive to target and mattel creations the only reason i got this doll is because i've been on the target app refreshing constantly checking and checking and checking and i called the one of my targets today and they said they would hold her because like they said that she was in stock but i couldn't buy her online to pick her up and i could only buy her in store and i've been burned by that before so i finally just called them and i asked them to put her aside for me and they did and i'm super happy because this was the only barbie doll of the western doll they had in store and it felt like it was perfect because even like last night, to be honest with you guys, I was like debating on buying her from a reseller because I wanted her that badly. And I'm just happy I did because I'm not sure how Mattel restocks their dolls. I'm not sure if these are going to be restocked or not. I don't, I can't say for sure because they haven't said anything yet, but I hope these dolls get restocked. Again, she's sold out everywhere. A lot of the other Barbie Deluxe dolls have been sold out. I think this one's pretty much, I don't think she's been sold out yet. The Playline one is pretty much everywhere, I think, as of right now. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but... Besides the stock issues and getting her and everything, this doll is so fun. I, again, watched the Barbie movie, and I was obsessed with it, y'all. It was so fun. It was so exciting and super campy, and I live for the Barbie movie. Now, rambles aside, let's just get into the doll because that's what we're here for. So this box is that gorgeous deluxe box. I don't really care about the box because I'm going to, you know, take her out. But I think the one that I got is, like, return because, like, she's a little thing happened in here and, like, scuff marks. But, again, like, I didn't know, like, this was, like, a stick. Like, it's, like, a shimmery kind of barbie logo and like she's at the beach and the logo we have like the dream house and stuff like margot robbie's on the back um so that's really really cool here's our barcode so if y'all want to scan this in amazon or target target has her scan this and try to find her in store because hopefully she will be back in stock i'm begging her to be back in stock because everybody deserves a western barbie she should not be like an exclusive thing she's like the best look out of the movie so again rambles aside let's get into her i think the box is pretty much easy to open you just have to open like the little flap here Ooh, not me damaging it y'all um it's fine and it's it looks pretty easy to open like it doesn't look like it's like too complex or anything yeah just slide the back card out and miss barbie is all here i know a lot of people and have in like who have been getting her have said like her hat is kind of like in the way sometimes so like if you guys are in box collectors and you want to adjust the hat you can do it like that and she can go right in box and she'd be perfect because my hat was a little bit wonky in box but i'm not an inbox collector so it didn't bother me too much but here's like a better look at um the inside she's on like the beach scene she has a stand back there um we have like the card of authenticity on the back which is kind of taped in um so it's really really nice for again like the inbox collectors who just want to fix their dolls and kind of look at them but i'm going to take her out of the box and then like, get her all out and i'll be back with you guys in just a minute all out of the box the only thing this doll comes with besides the stand is this card of authenticity it's cool for the barbie collectors i just don't care she also comes with this like white little stand i think it's basic barbie i got it with my looks barbie doll so um it's really really nice that she comes with that i'm super appreciative because this one did not come with one so um yeah so this doll truly amazing i am gagging i'm floored i'm obsessed she has this little pink oh no this white cowboy hat with like a little pink ribbon and it's nice it's like plastic and it goes on her Ooh, what is that ew um but she has something like it like goes on her head really nice like i can like do this which is super rare in doll hats like i can oh well i could do it for a long time like she was she was back there but my thing is like they put like a little like hole in the back of her head so like it's kind of like a hole in there I don't care that much. I'm just being very nitpicky. Again, this doll was $50. Um, but yeah, so the hat's really, really nice. But under the hat, we have this gorgeous face. And I want to say that I think this doll is very similar to the um, $25 one. But like the less of bangs is makes a such a big difference when you look at the doll, to be honest. And like, I hate these bangs. These bangs are done like kind of awful on the older doll. Like I wish there were more curtain bangs. 
but seeing this doll's beautiful face sculpt without the bangs is truly, truly, truly a thing that I am obsessed with, and I hope we get more Margot Robbie Barbie dolls without bangs, to be honest, or bangs done properly, because the face is just so stunning, so look at that. Like, truly obsessed. I love the Margot Robbie mold. I didn't like it at first, but um, I've come to love it and everything. It's just so exciting. I just love it. I thought mine was wonky for a little bit, but it looks perfectly normal. And she's fierce. She's a little blushing as well. Not much eyeshadow or makeup. Um, This hair is Saran, I think. Yeah, it's Saran. Um, and it is, like, curled. And then, like, these little, like, curls. They look better in box, to be honest. Like, this is meant for the inbox to collectors. But if you're an out-of-box collector, washing these will be really easy. There's this, like, minimal gel... It's, like, gel, like, to here. Um, but the hair, it looks a little bit short. I want to see, maybe, if I can, like, take a curl. It'll go down to her butt, maybe. Um, I like, I feel like the hair is a little bit longer in the movie, if I'm correct. I don't know. But, um, it'll be really, really nice after a wash. And it'll, like, hopefully get longer. Um, but, yeah, it's nice blonde Barbie hair. I was also sporting some gorgeous, like, silvery, um, star hoop moments. And I think these are, like, in her head. Like, I don't think these are ones that, like, you can, like, take out. Yeah. Oh, it may be. Uh, no. There's, like, a hook in there. So, these are earrings that you can't, like, take out like the other one was. Um, so that's something. I don't, I don't care that much, to be honest. She's wearing her iconic Western outfit. We have the little hanky chiff thing. And it's pinned on. I didn't take it off. I don't know. I'll, I'll take it off in a minute, maybe. Um, but that's pinned on, if you guys are wondering. And this is a hot pink, gorgeous little vest moment. We have some like little studs there, some faux pockets. Um, this like printed detail on like the top of it all. In the back, we have like a shoehorn, a horse thing. Oh my god, I just realized horses, duh. Um, so yeah, that's cool. I don't really honestly mind. I feel like a lot of people are upset about the printed details. On the top specifically, I don't mind it, to be honest. Like, it'd be super hard to make that detail come to life with, like, real thread and the like, real hook. So, I don't mind that it's printed on there because it's small enough that I don't, like, I won't notice it. Um, but when we go down to here, we have the pants. The pants is something that is very, very interesting because we have this, like, it's, like, the same hot pink material. It's kind of, like, denim a little bit. And it's a really nice material, right? But, like, they did this thing where they screen printed on these little loops. And we have seen doll companies, other doll companies, do these loops for cheaper and nicer. And I have right in here the Jewel Richie Rainbow High Doll from last year's Series 3 or Series 4 of Rainbow High Dolls. And y'all can see, like, this is real, like, string. So my thoughts about this is, like, this is my only complaint about the doll. This part would have been a lot better if they just did not do it. To be honest, if they, if they didn't have the money somehow, if they somehow did not have the money to produce it properly, I think this looks kind of cheap and a little bit dimension, like one-dimensional. Um, I wish that they just put a little bit more resources into giving us a lace, little like lace thing. Because it just looks kind of weird. And we have seen other dolls do it for cheaper. I understand this doll is for the movie. She's made by a different company. There's a lot of other factors why she's not the exact doll that I just brought over. But for a $50 collector doll, could we have gotten a little bit more quality? Yes, this doll still so, still sold out, though, everywhere. So, like, does it really matter? But I think she deserved a little bit more quality. Because, like, this is, like, the big Barbie movie. Like, I think we definitely deserved a little bit more. Um, so, that's my one complaint. But besides that, we have, like, this really nice... Oh, my God, those little things. On the back, we have her, like, oh, my God, iconic stars on the butt. We have this little, like... Um, what is this? Oh, it's, like, a little... Um, iconic like, little loop thing so that's nice i'll put that back yeah later um and it's really really nice like the bell bottoms are all starry and it's on both sides thank god and look at these little boots i'm oh, gonna hair on it i don't love the gold and silver thing together but like it's really really nice i love the bell bottoms like i loved how these looked in the movie so it's really really cool to see them on like the doll size and she looks just so stunning here um final thoughts is yeah this doll's amazing if y'all can somehow get your hands on her and you're into the Barbie movie, and you're into the Barbie fantasy, and you're into the whole, um, new era, uh, not new era, but, like, this movie Barbie, I would definitely recommend her, to be honest, and that might just be, like, my bias of being super excited about her, and she's not really worth the $50, to be honest, like, the doll definitely could have been the $25, and I think I wouldn't have gotten an eye, because, like, the quality on these dolls looks pretty much the same, um, maybe she's a little bit more quality, she's, like, more pieces, maybe, um, but I don't know, I think the, the price point's a little bit unserious if i'm gonna be honest with you guys i think the 50 dollars is a little bit expensive but i'm also just like well i'd rather spend 50 dollars than like 100 so um <laughs> i guess that's that she's stupid expensive on macario right now y'all um 
But again, final thoughts. I love her. I'm obsessed. I love the movie. I love Margot Robbie. I just love the whole fantasy of this barbie movie and i think that's the reason why i was really excited about her um and she's definitely gonna be an amazing addition to my doll barbie collection i've been super into my barbie era right now and she's just gonna fit in perfectly i'm just so excited to own her and that's kind of my thoughts again super biased super like i know this doll doesn't have that quality but i don't care i'm happy to have her and i'm excited to add her to my collection okay so without rambling anymore i want to know in the comments below one, if y'all have seen the Barbie movie and what do y'all think about it, please let me know in the comments below. I'm truly dying to know if y'all have seen it yet, if you are, if you guys want to go see it, if you guys are like planning on it, what's the tea, I want to know all of it. And I also want to know in the comments below what Barbie movie dolls do you have or what Barbie movie dolls do you want. I know there's a lot of Barbie movie characters that we haven't seen yet come out to life as dolls. Um, personally, I would love a Harley, Harry Neft, I think that's her name. She's the Dr. Barbie. I want to see her Barbie doll in doll form. And that's my biggest one I really want. I also want to get an Alan reproduction. I think that would be super cool to kind of do as like a tribute to the Barbie movie. I don't know if they'll ever do an Alan reproduction, but I would love to see it. But um, okay, rambling aside, thank you guys all so beyond much for um, watching today's video. It was so much fun with you guys, and I cannot wait to catch all though in the next one. Bye, Barbie. Love you all. Mwah. See you guys soon. Bye.